trying to bring local food grown sustainably to the Vancouver consumers. And uh, this was a, uh, an underutilized parkade that the city identified for us. And uh, the perfect place to uh, grow food where people are eating it. What's really interesting here is that we're able to be right in the downtown core where consumers can get the greens within one or two kilometers as opposed to the 100 mile diet, we can have the, uh, the five kilometer diet. Parkades are designed for larger loads. Looking at a rooftop of a typical building, you may find a lot of uh, mechanical equipment up top, uh, be it HVAC units or fans of antennas, those, sites, those sorts of things. Uh, the parkade, as you can see, is, uh, is, is very conducive for uh, another building structure to, go, uh, to be built upon. And what you see here is the, uh, the finishing of the, uh, the foundation curbs for our greenhouse. Wind load is an issue for greenhouses because they don't have a lot of weight, but they do have a lot of surface. What we've done here is put a, uh, a leveling curb on so that the greenhouse can go on a level surface. As you can see, the, uh, the parkade surface is quite, uh, quite sloped for drainage and uh, the foundation will help us uh, place the, the greenhouse uh, on a level. Uh, part of the, part of the uh, challenges in putting a greenhouse on a structure like this, it, it is a suspended slab of concrete and uh, the ability to take point loads is, is, uh, is not great. So what we've had to do is uh, shore up the foundation curves with a lot of rebar so that they act like uh, concrete beams. And then from underneath, we'll have to put a steel channel to span between the slab beams to ensure that we can pick up the loads. Vertcrop is a, uh, a very unique patent pending technology for Alteris. It's a series of racks that go around on a conveyor system, uh, stacking about 24 trays, hydroponic trays, uh, growing leafy green vegetables in a very dense manner. We do it very sustainably. It's a, it's a low energy uh, consumption system. It, uh, it recycles 90, uh, 90, about 90% 90 of the water. Uh, it uses about 90% less water than conventional field farming. So we feel it's a, it's a really good way of sustainably farming leafy greens uh, in, a, in an area where people are consuming it.